what's poppin guys welcome to another video of premium theory where we help you find theories explanations um, and different stuff like that to movies and give you movie clips and movie footage and movie scenes as well so if you enjoy the content please subscribe to support the channel give this video a thumbs up and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything for now let's jump into it Wands are of vital importance to a witch or a wizard. It allows them to cast spells easily instead of using wandless magic, which is incredibly difficult. Ollivander is a great wizard wand maker who always said that the wand chooses the wizard, the wizard actually doesn't choose the wand. The movies and books give a, a bit of story of the wands, but one part that it misses out is the actual history of the wands and well, how was the idea and why was it made and when. So in this video, I'll be covering all of that for you, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Wands were actually first made in Europe at, uh, at an unknown point of time, though it is known sometime in the BC era. The Ollivanders family, which are, which are a very well-known wand-making family, started making wands in 382 BC. As they grew and grew, they earned a very good worldwide reputation. Later in the 13th century, the Elder Wand was created by Death himself, which became the most strongest wand of all time. The first ever wand maker in the history and the first wand uh, the first wand maker in North America and the whole world was an Irish witch called Isolde Sayer. I don't know how to pronounce her name, so if I'm saying it wrong, please put it down in the comments below. Who came to North America to start making wands to, for her adopted sons as well as their school. With a law that was made, children were not supposed to use or be allowed to have a wand until they were in the school and even during the holidays they had to actually keep them there at the school. Once they reached the age of 17, only were they allowed to use the wands outside school. By 1920, use of wands became normal though everybody needed a wand permit in North America. Soon wands were spread to Asia during the 20th century, wands were spread to even Africa, even though wands were less used in Africa than the other places. The most famous wand making family are probably the Ollivanders, and in the Philosopher's Stone, the first wand bought by Harry is from Ollivander as well, Garrick Ollivander. If you want to know who's better, Ollivander or Gregorovich, then check out my other video made before on Ollivander vs. Gregorovich. And yeah, so until next time, see ya.